I'm very excited. Today I'm with Alex Roos from Active Campaign, a automated marketing system that has arrived here from the States. I use it with my clients and we're going to blow your mind as to what you can do today with sophisticated technology. Thank you for coming, Alex. Thank you very much. I'm really excited to be here. So Alex, give me a little bit of a background on Active Campaign. Yeah, so Active Campaign is a small business CRM and marketing automation tool. It's specifically designed for small businesses and what we're trying to do is really help small businesses build uh, sales and marketing alignment within their own business to really help them generate more leads, uh, to nurture those leads and to ultimately close more business. Excellent. And you already have property clients, um, including my own, but others um, that you work with in the industry. What do they use Active Campaign for mainly? Yeah, so we have uh, hundreds of different uh, people that use the tool that are, you know, in property or property and finance. And a lot of the times they're using Active Campaign because they want a tool which uh, can really kind of help them not only generate more leads, but actually nurture those leads. So make sure those leads are going down the right journey, making sure that we're showing the right message at the right time and ultimately just staying top of mind as they run their sales process. And give me an example, um, like from your own experience sure. dealing with real estate professionals. Yeah, so you know what happens a lot within real estate is we tend to get the same types of messaging. Uh, so for instance, I might get you know weekly property updates or I might get a, an RBA announcement. And although that's, that's fine to do, the problem is everyone's doing that and you start to lose a little bit of trust with the businesses that are just kind of almost spamming you with content. And what I see to work really well is when a business is able to truly understand why did I reach out to that business? What do I actually want to engage with that property marketing for? And then tailoring the right message for me so ultimately I'll see it at the right time and want to actually progress in their business and, and do something with their business. So explain to me what you mean by top of funnel. So top of funnel is really things that you can do as a property agent is going to help generate more awareness and ultimately uh, generate a lead. So some of these activities might be uh, you producing content, whether that's a form of a blog, it might be you uh, presenting at events, uh, it might be you producing uh, content for social media such as Facebook or Instagram, uh, doing live stories, things of that nature. So it's really sitting right at the top in that awareness stage of people trying to find more information about you. And your system is much more than just um, you know, mining an existing database or, or tracking behaviours in email. Yes. The thing that I love about your software is that it, for me, as a digital marketer, it helps us sync the database to Facebook so that we can start building audiences in real time um, behind the scenes specifically for that, that agency. So, um, so Talk to me about how your software works in conjunction with a website. Yes, yeah, so Active Campaign works really well with website and also to your point Facebook as well. What we're able to do is we're able to take the website and essentially plug it into Active Campaign so that when leads are generated off the website, we're able to nurture those leads, we're able to better understand who those leads are, to profile those leads, and then also able to sync that to Facebook so we can actually target those leads, Facebook remarket those leads, and essentially run a, a really good lead process. So this can all be done through the Active Campaign interface. So it not only talks to your email database, it sees where people go on your, your website. For example, yeah. I see um, with my clients, they monitor anybody that's gone to the sold pages. Because yes. if somebody's looking at the sold pages, there's a high chance that they are thinking of selling. Correct. Um, and if they haven't even picked up the phone, then they can subtly you know, give them a call and say, hey, um, how are you going? And then they know full well that that person has been looking at their sold pages or yep. even been onto their sell with us page. So it's kind of like Big Brother, right? Yeah, I think this is where there's a massive opportunity. Uh, a lot of people aren't really thinking outside the box of what are some of the things they can do with marketing sales systems. A lot of the times they're just thinking about building funnels, but there's a lot of other opportunities. For instance, like you said before, you might want to go to your website and think, what are some of the pages on my website that show very high buyer's interest? So for instance, if I'm on the sold page or if I'm on the case study page, I'm showing quite high intent that I either want to sell a property or I want to at least have a conversation with someone to see what this agency can offer me. And by creating systems in place to understand who is looking at these pages and when they're looking at these pages, it gives you that extra leg up on the next agent who just doesn't have those systems in place. So you can literally call before they've had a chance, before the the potential clients had a chance to even pick up the phone and ring any other agent because you know early in the piece that they're, they're in that mindset of, oh, you know, what does this agency do and how can I, 
how can I use their services? Exactly right. What we're finding is that a lot of people are, are almost hesitant in some way or shape or form to inquire because they know once they inquire, they're going to start getting calls. And so when they're very early on in their sales journey and they're just kind of looking at different options, in a way, they kind of want to be in stealth mode. They don't really want people to know that they're looking at selling just yet. But as a property agent, you're able to understand very early on their journey when they're thinking about it. And that will give you the extra leg up everyone else because you're actually going to come in at the beginning rather when they're finally ready to go. And all of a sudden, you find yourself in a bit of a tender between multiple different agents and you're kind of fighting for business. Yeah. And I love the fact that, you know, that the um, potential seller won't necessarily know that you've noticed them you know, trawling through your website. And then they'll just think, oh wow, that was like meant to be. That, that agent, I was on his website yesterday. How weird is that, that he's now ringing me and, yeah. or she's now <laughs> ringing me? It's like, you know, it's fate. They're supposed to be my agent of choice. Exactly right. Yeah, it just allows you to really just talk to people at the right time. A lot of people, again, they don't, uh, really want to fill out a form in a lot of circumstances because they understand that they're going to get a call. But if you're able to call people uh, after they've engaged with content you think is relevant, it's going to make the conversation a lot smoother for yourself. But you're also talking to the people at the right time. You know that they're actually thinking about this right now and you're able to tailor a conversation around that. And it's all about finding you know, warm leads, right? That people are like in the moment, they've got that intent. So intent is a word that you use. So um, they're showing intent that they want to, um, yeah, they're looking at your property management services or they're looking at your sales services. So um, talk to me about segmentation because we can do some really clever things in your system with um, identifying you know, um, uh, what each of the contacts in the database uh, are interested in. Yeah, so whether you're a, a property agent or whether you run your own agency, uh, there's a bunch of different ways you can use segmentation. If you're an agency, you have, might have multiple different services. And if you're uh, an agent, you might have multiple different regions uh, or areas that you're selling to. Segmentation allows you to be very specific. So for instance, if I'm looking after the eastern suburbs of Sydney, there is a bunch of different suburbs I might sell to. Now, every single person in each different suburb are looking for different things and they're looking for uh, different features within those suburbs. And I want to make sure that I'm telling them the right things at the right time. I don't want to send generic marking updates about all of the East. I want to show them specific pockets that they're actually relevant to. Because we know that you know Bondi is completely different to Double Bay. And we want to make sure that the messaging is completely different and relevant for that person. 